Hola México, nos encontramos en Toy Fair, estamos visitando McFarlane Toy y tenemos ni más ni menos que al hombre más importante del booth, aquí está Todd McFarlane. How has been this process for you, having to develop a new line on, on, on a so very special brand? It was a long, long time in the making, right? I've been asking about some big properties for decades and finally one of them said yes Todd you're looking at a couple different things the, the, it's the DC multiverse and that includes film TV video games uh, animation which is with the TV comic books the whole the whole library of all of those so I can look at literally 70 years of items and go in there and make suggestions as to what I think would work obviously Warner Brothers that owns DC they they have all their data they know what people are asking for they know what they sold in the past and now the question is what's the product we need to make that basically people out there are gonna get excited about and buy right I have my I have my opinions they have theirs and and most of the time we're pretty compatible what was the first uh, figure what was the first thing that you said I have to do in this Batman it's easy Is it, no, no, just, no, just Batman Pier. What are you talking about? Look at when you've not done any Batman, nada, then doing any Batman is special, right? So obviously we started, you know, with like sort of a classic look, but now, you know, throughout time and especially in the last five, ten years in the comic book, there are all, there's literally a Batman universe. And so it allows you, I think why that's valuable for both the customer and the retailers is that you can show all these different looks of characters superman batman wonder woman flash wonder woman and there's now maybe 10 20 different looks so you don't have to keep going back doing the same look over and over obviously the young the young kids are going to want the classic look that everybody sort of grew up with but then when you get a little bit older and you hit, say hey i've had those toys Uh, in the last 10 years, give me something different, then that's where I'm hoping that some of our product uh, that will walk you through, that you'll see, hopefully will surprise people and actually, you know, be exciting for them. Guide us through the, the, this, this line. This is the, the, the whole first line. Okay, right? okay, so we'll, we'll go through it fairly quickly. Like I said, there's a couple different looks. Obviously, you've got your animation look, right? So this is the stuff that people have seen before. You know, you can call it the Bruce Tim look or whatever else. That one's been out there before. You try to pick characters that you like. You've got, you know, Harla Quinn. She's obviously super popular right now. And then you just go to some of the classic stuff. You're going to go to some of the regular product. Then you're going to get now to some of the classics. So here's obviously Superman doing some cool stuff with paint, right? You got a metallic on it. it you know, the logo is a little bit raised on it. Just trying to do something a little new to it. Then as we walk over here. Wonder Woman from the upcoming movie, right? One of the costumes she's going to be wearing. You've got the video game. These two are video game characters, right? These, so there's, again, a different sort of style in them. Uh, and they're, they're sort of kind of cool. These, these are from a comic book. It's called The White Knight. And, and I'm, hoping, I'm hoping really out of everything that this is the one that does well. Because if I can start to stylize and go into the library and do stylize, then like I said, this is Batman, but it's not Batman in the classic sense that everybody's seen, but that's a cool looking toy. Uh, and so I, I think we can continue to make it. If I can make, instead of Joker then in his purple, you can have him obviously in a different kind of uniform with a little bit of detail. That, become, that becomes uh, fun. And then obviously when you get to the classic, you can start to you know, play with the look of the colors, if you will. But here's here's another one that goes back to the White Knight. This was really only in one comic book and a handful of panels, right, on one page, two pages. I didn't pick it because it's famous in the comic books or that anybody in the audience knows it. I picked it because that's a good-looking toy, right? And so it, I don't care that it's not famous in the comic book. That's a toy. And if I'm an eight-year-old kid or I'm a collector and I want something that's newer that surprises me, Give me something that's like that with a little bit of a different paint job. And then, you know, here you got the Batman in the hell suit. It's a lot of plastic, right? You get, a, you get a lot. You get a lot. And I've never made any kind of toy that was big and bulky that, that was a good price that didn't sell. Uh, and then you got some of the new characters, Batman who laughs, although it might not be appropriate for eight-year-old kids. This is the one here. 
that all the older kids are sort of going crazy for. This one, you buy the three of those, you get three pieces. You get the left side, a right side, and the middle, and you make you make this car. This is made up of the p three pieces you get out of their builder set. And then we're doing some of the stuff, obviously, from the TV, right? So here you can see this is the, I don't know if you can get a good look here, but here's the the build a vehicle here where you got the, the piece of the car. So you put those three pieces together, and then we're going to be doing a, a build a figure, and hopefully they'll just unleash me and we'll do McFarland stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's a great line, and I, I have noticed something that is quite important for, uh, for obviously for, for, for people, which is the price. Now, um, you are giving us the, the McFarland uh, quality, but uh, the, I, I, I see a lower price on some items than, than the other ones. What, what, how, how difficult was this uh, to maintain the, 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 yeah. the, the quality, but you have to yeah. do some, something? Yeah, well, well here's, here's a, an advantage I have. I'm not I'm not a public company, and here and, and public companies have to maximize profits every 90 days in America because they have to report their earnings. I don't, so I don't have to make as much money as them. I'm I'm okay, right? Uh, and so if it means to do this toy right, I have to spend another 20, 30 cents on it, which means my company makes 30 cents less. That's okay, because I think in the long run that if I make a good toy and I give it away high quality on a brand that people like at a fair price, then people will support that. So I'll make my money back because they'll buy more of it, right? Where if I worry about making a cheap toy, then I might not sell as many because it might not look as good. And so I'll maybe make a little bit more money, but I'm going to sell less. So I make my money hoping that if I tell people I'm going to make good toys, they can keep coming back over and over that I'll, I'll get it back that way. So it's it's easy. So if I was private, if I was a, uh, excuse me, if I was a public company, I couldn't do it, I'm private, so it's easy. And I, I see that pretty much the, the same uh, height on, 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 on the figures. Are you trying uh, may, or, or thinking maybe in the future going with, you know, another uh, scales for, 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 for line? Or this could be... Uh, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be, I mean, I know some people said, hey, you know, the other ones were six inches, so, right? Uh, so, uh, uh, like, com your, your complaint to me can't be that I'm giving you too much plastic. That can't be that, Todd, you're giving us too much. Could you make it smaller, give us less for the same price? Come on, right? This is like, this is like a chocolate bar. You're giving us too much chocolate for the same price. <laughs> I always want it. Even when I started 25 years ago, I always wanted Spawn to be bigger than everybody else. So when you put the two together, I always want my toys to be bigger. Yeah. So if you're going to play with them, my guy will always beat your guy up because he's just bigger. And then when you get to the big ones, they're even they're even way bigger, right? So I understand that people who have big collections may say, "Hey, Todd, the previous 10 years, uh, this is how they did it." I don't care about I don't care about the past. I care about the future, and the future is this is what we're going to do. And oh, by the way, I'm going to do characters that nobody else has done. So you, you, you're not going to compare them, anyways. So let this just be a new a new starting point of what the figures are going to look like. I'm really uh, sure that the audience worldwide is going to be loving it as well. Yeah, the sales so far are saying that, right? right. So they're, they're, they're reacting, and, I, and we've only just begun. We've only just begun. Exactly. Bueno, uh, Todd, is there something that you want to say to your audience in Mexico? Oh, here's what I'm saying. I, sadly, I don't get down there enough, but uh, with the re rejuvenation of what we're doing with Spawn, uh, we got a movie that I'm going to be directing. I promise you, Mexico, when we get that movie off the ground, I am coming to Mexico to help promote it, and I'm going to bring some of my movie stars with me, and we're going to sign comic books and bring toys and bring the movie, and we're going to have a good time. I miss Mexico. I miss Mexico. I love you. And remember, we have a day to go to Texas. Yes, what are you <laughs> talking about? Look at it. Hey, I was born in Canada, right? So you guys are down here on the side of, Me uh, of the U.S., and I'm on this side of the U.S., but both of us are bordering. We're just we're, yeah. just, we're just neighbors, right? Exactly. Yes, sir. So <laughs> I understand. You guys are my friends. Well, thank you very much, Don. Muchas gracias, amigos. Esta es la nueva línea de DC de McFarland Toys. That's it. Thank you very much. You.